Hey guys, so it is about 7.30 in the morning on September 20th and it's cycle day 12 for me. Um, the last video that you've seen um, that I posted for this cycle was um, my cycle day 9 um, ovulation test, I believe. I'm super scatterbrained right now. I'm super exhausted. I just got home from work. Um, but um, I actually goofed up looked at the wrong day on my phone and that was actually cycle day eight that I did um, that first ovulation test so um, I went ahead and corrected it on my little ovulation stick thingy I don't even know what you would call this obsessive tracking I don't know <laughs> but um, so technically I started tracking, uh, doing the OPKs on cycle day eight, and today is cycle day 12. I have about 25, 26 day long cycles. Um, so my little app on my phone always predicts that I ovulate between the 12th and the 14th. And um, yeah, I did OPKs last cycle from cycle day nine all the way through cycle day like 14 or 15, and I used these, um, assured ovulation predictor whatever OPK is from Dollar Tree and they work just fine I just did not ovulate last cycle I did not even get come close to getting a positive um, on those last cycle and then I found out through blood work that I didn't even ovulate so that makes sense um, and so this cycle of course I've been stressing and panicking and freaking out like normal and uh, all my tests that I've taken so far, or had taken so far, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but you know, cycle day eight, nine, ten, and even yesterday morning, I just barely got the faintest of lines. So I was really stressing myself out, um, worrying that I was gonna get all negatives again, and then that would just kind of confirm that I really didn't ovulate. Now I know that when I go cycle day, <laughs> 21 to get my blood drawn that it could still show that I don't ovulate because these are not a Guarantee that you ovulate. I know that um, it just kind of helps me pinpoint when to baby dance um, and Whatnot and help keep better track of my cycle. So yesterday evening. I took this one and I got really excited I was like, oh my god, I'm finally kind of seeing some progression and I'm like, I bet if you take a test later, you know, um, or tomorrow, it's going to be positive. So I couldn't, I took this one about one in the morning, this morning at work, and it's pretty much almost a positive. I mean, it's of course dried and way past the five minutes. Um, but I just want to see today, um, on cycle day 12, if it can get a little bit darker. So I have the same... Um, OPK that I've been using the proven ones and I had a leftover um, Dollar Tree one from last cycle. I'm gonna take them both right now see what they say. I'm pretty sure today is gonna be considered my surge and um, You know just kind of go tomorrow be one DPO and, and so forth so um, yeah, I will go ahead and take these and just to kind of let you guys know, these have been working out just great. I mean, I did the math for the entire kit that I got. Um, there was 50 ovulation tests, 20 pregnancy tests, and I paid like 19 and some change. So I mean, with that, I mean, I think the math came out to like 26 or 28 um, cents a test. So that's cheaper than me paying a dollar a test at the Dollar Tree. I don't really feel like moving the camera right now, so we'll just do one, two, three drops in that one. And this, you can read the results in three minutes. Same goes for the, uh, uh, the little strip test that I'm gonna dip. You dip it for five seconds and read it within three minutes, three to five minutes. So. These have definitely been working out really great. Two, three, four, five. Um, and I have some leftover pregnancy tests from Dollar Tree, the Assured brand. 
So um, I want to, this cycle, do some comparisons, especially if I get a positive pregnancy test with these strips. I definitely like to compare the um, sensitivity to the Dollar Tree tests. So I'm hoping they both give me a good positive. Already got a second line kind of showing up. So we'll wait three minutes and I'll come back and we'll look at the results and go from there. Okay, so it's been about three, four minutes um, since I dipped these and I'll show you the results. Um, I'll show them to you right now, kind of like hold them up to the camera and then at the very end of the video, I will show you a clip of the little chart that I have here and then um, the two tests that I just took so you can get like a close up of them. But this is the strip. Sorry, the lighting is horrible and uh, this is bad, I'm sorry. I don't know if that helps. There we go, that might be a little better. But, so this is the proven brand one. The lighting's not gonna get any better, I'm sorry. But, it's pretty positive. I mean, I would say that this control line is definitely the exact same color as the test line. So, yeah, I'm gonna say today is my surge day. As far as the Dollar Tree one, both the lines are pretty light. Um, yeah, you might just have to just see this at the end of the video. But today's gonna be my surge, um, and then tomorrow I'll start counting as one DPO. So the 21st will be one DPO, and that'll be cycle day 13. And, uh, we will continue to baby dance and hopefully when I get those results um, for my cycle day 21 testing, I will um, have good news, have a positive um, progesterone level as well as these positive OPKs. As for now, um, that's it. I'm ovulating um, according to these OPKs. so. We will find out in a few days what the blood work says, and then we can start um, testing, pregnancy testing, hopefully. And thank you guys again for watching. Sorry I'm so scatterbrained and exhausted, but I wanted to film this. Uh, have a good day.